you might have seen something like this define followed by a word in this case i'm just going to say my integer followed by a line of code this time i'm just going to say 10 and i can do a c out put this in there my integer and if i run this f5 okay here's the result this is called a macro basically we're saying that replace this word with this and we can also do this with code i'm going to say define create integer and i'm going to create an integer called n i'll say it's five and i can use it create integer and then in the next line i can say c out n and you can guess the result f5 okay five this isn't all that different from copy pasting so there's nothing really too complex here but what if create integer is not defined obviously if i try to run this you can't create integer is undefined and we get the error message from here we can use an if statement i can say if defined if create integer is defined run the lines and if now if i run this f5 okay we only ran this line this is an if statement we only run this if we pass the conditions and just like what an if statement is i can say else and i'll say create integer is not defined let me put this in capital letters okay now if i run this okay here's a result you should already know what an if statement is if we pass this condition we run this line otherwise we run this line Now let me give you another example. I'm going to say if n defined as in not defined, I'm going to say create float and if. So if create float is not defined, I'm going to say create float is not defined. And you can guess the result. I'm going to run this f5. Okay, we don't have a macro that defines what create float is, so we get this line. But if we do define it, I'm going to say define create float. I'm going to create a float called f 0.5. F here meaning that this is a float data type. Else, so if create float is defined, I can say f. I can use the f. For it to use the macro. Now, if I run this, okay, because create float is defined, we use the macro and we get 0 0.5. So the idea itself is very simple though you might see more complex examples in real life. Now that you've seen this video, the, the keywords like defined or not defined shouldn't really be confusing. I'm going to get into more complex examples later in this series. And before I end this video, let me add that I'm not a huge fan of using macros. I do think they're very useful, but I also think there are cases where it's overused and it makes the code less readable. But it's mostly up to you how you write your code. You decide for yourself. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my Discord server. I have all the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.